transgenderism. If you desire to identify as the other sex, okay. You want me to call you him or her opposite of what I see biologically as long as it is respectfully agreed upon and a request. No problem. You ask me politely to call you Zara Wolf? Sure. Why? Because I know that life can be hard. I know that if you haven't accepted the body that you were born into, I know that you're likely having a difficult time. And I have no interest in creating a greater amount of friction for you. But let's make some ground rules. I believe in civility and making demands under threat of punishment runs in stark contrast to this principle. So if you threaten under penalty of hate speech or thought crime or being called a transphobe and yelled at, I will rebel against you. I will not buckle under this coercive pressure and refer to you as you have demanded, not requested. While you can influence in good faith our interaction, we do lack the godlike powers to change your biological makeup. You don't get to ignore the science and the biology and claim that the reason that we don't want to date you, to sleep with you, is because we are transphobic bigots. If you really need a simple explanation, the purpose of sex from an evolutionary perspective is procreation. And despite you voting Democrat and claiming to be the party of science, um, no, men cannot get pregnant despite the Wokies at Apple creating an emoji that I'm sure some activists say proves the case. Men can get pregnant? Yeah. Keep following the science. And if we want to get into biology denial, I'd like to identify as a 12-year-old boy. Now, let me go back to Little League and watch me hit a home run in every at-bat and be the toast of the town. Of course, I've gone through puberty, I've developed muscle mass, and I'm not 12. The same way Leah Thomas, the swimmer for Penn, has gone through a biological change that no woman ever does, and thus should not be competing against females unless your goal is to destroy women's sports. The same way that any collegiate male basketball player that identified as a female to enter the WNBA draft would be chosen number one and set every single record of the league. What that means is you don't get to play sports against my daughter and dominate because you were born a man. So yes, transgender community, I can absolutely respect you as a person. I can be friends with you. I can hire you. I can call you whatever in the world we mutually agree upon. But you do not get to demand that privilege from me. You cannot force me to bend a knee to you because you're so special. You cannot force me to date you. Nor do you get to beat up my daughter as a biological male and call it a girl fight. Is that asking too much? Guys, thumb up this video, subscribe, hit the all notification bell, and join me also at rumble.com. The link is in the description. YouTube is a censorious place. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.